Hey guys, it's Suresh. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning into another video with me today. Well, we're in another location at my new place. You guys can see the view. <laughs> like I said in my last video, we're just gonna keep switching it around until we find a good place that works. <laughs> well, I have a super exciting video to share with you guys today. A short while ago, the big international Met Gala took place in New York City. That of course is the huge gala that Anna Wintour chairs and puts on every year for the Costume Institute to raise money. It's such a glamorous event. It's always full of celebrities from all around the world showing up in the most outrageous clothes and haute couture. It's just so fun to see. They now call it the Super Bowl of fashion, but since I don't really know what the Super Bowl all entails, that means nothing to me. <laughs> this year, as I was watching the show, I saw that one of my absolute favorite girls, Casey Musgrave, was dressed as Barbie and it like took me by surprise I, I did like a triple take and I was just like what lo and behold the Metropolitan Museum online released a brand new Moschino Barbie doll it took all of us by surprise of course we didn't hear a single thing about it it's basically what Casey Musgraves is wearing on the red carpet is what the doll is Casey is wearing what Barbie is wearing, which is designed after a 2015 Moschino collection that Jeremy Scott modeled around Barbie. Did you get it? So it's one big incestuous circle of Barbiness, and obviously we all died. I was very excited to get one of the dolls. It's been killing me that she has been sitting here all this time and I haven't been able to open her. So today we're gonna be taking a look at the exclusive brand new Moschino for the Met. Barbie doll. She is a 500 piece limited edition doll. She is designed by Moschino's very own Jeremy Scott, who we know is a big Barbie fan, and by Linda Yaw, who we are big fans of at Mattel. Hey, Linda. Here it is, the box on the inside with bubble wrap. You have great taste. Well, darling, I know that. Ah, this is so exciting. <laughs> okay. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, beautiful. Oh my god. Look at that hair. Oh, you guys, she's so cute. What a beautiful, beautiful doll. So the first thing I am seeing right away is the beautiful color of this jacket dress. Oh my goodness. What a gorgeous, gorgeous color. True Barbie color, true Barbie style. Also very Moschino in so many ways. The most Moschino Barbie doll ever, is that it says here on the front of the box with the Metropolitan Museum's Met logo here up on the top right. And then of course the Barbie logo on the top left. She is really decked out in all this pink with all this gorgeous blonde hair. I see this beautiful bright pink wrap here on her right arm. And then we see all her little accessories in here as well. On the back of the box, we see a gorgeous sketch of the doll. Who would have thought in a million freaking years that the Met Museum, which happens to be one of my favorite places on earth, I have spent many, many, many hours, days, months, weeks there. <laughs> I have been there at night when it's closed to the public for private events, walking around by myself, and it's the most magical place on earth, I will tell you guys that. And if you have never gotten a chance to go, I highly recommend that you book a trip sometime in your life and go. I never would have thought that the Met Museum would partner with Barbie and boy am i glad they did this is not what i would have expected but how fun oh my goodness how fun <laughs> i'm dying to see what her shoes look like okay so what i'm going to do is very gently take her out from the bottom here hello gorgeous and then we can put her back in the box uh while i continue getting my doll display put together oh look at her little shoes okay a little disappointing nothing that glamorous casey's shoes on the red carpet were a little bit more chic actually she's sliding right out of her box just like that <gasps> Ta -da! my little face oh so here she is out of the box and wow she is so freaking beautiful i mean I know, I know, Barbie and pink are synonymous, but every single time I see it, it just, just brings a smile to my face. How gorgeous, huh? 
She is so bright, so vivid, and just so ready to go. And then here in the back, we see her certificate of authenticity. It says Moschino Barbie doll. So this is a gold label doll, by the way. Oh my God, ooh, this is lined. She's also definitely meant to be standing on her little doll stand here because the dress is longer than her feet. Her doll stand appears to be sitting right behind her here in the square. It's um, a standard Model Muse stand because she has the Model Muse body, <laughs> yay. How many of you guys are excited for the new Aladdin movie? Oh my goodness. <laughs> so there is the back uh, of the box. One, two, and three. There's the back of her head. <laughs> There's why she looks like she has so much hair. Oh, this is so cute. Oh my God, I love this. Here is Moschino Met Barbie, up close and personal, fully dressed for you guys to get a better look at all of her itty bitty little intricacies here. And yeah, so she has the beautiful superstar face that we all know and love so well. She has a model muse body with two arms on her hips there and I just, I'm <laughs> kind of speechless because I'm so in love. Did not expect to be so caught off guard by her, but she really is beautiful, you guys. Loving all these beautiful blonde curls, very reminiscent of the Moschino Barbie look now. She has those big, beautiful drop earrings that we have seen in many a City Shine doll before. This jacket dress is so, so beautiful. What a gorgeous color on her. There are her little sunglasses. There is her little clutch purse. That clutch purse happens to also be one that we've seen before in many dolls. Most recently, I think a lot of the uh, Barbie look dolls have them. She does have a manicure, hooray, hooray. You know, I love that. Her beautiful pink stole is gorgeous. It's a really soft, nice faux fur. It's lined in beautiful hot pink silk there. And then we see the inside of her gown is also lined. Hoorah, hoorah. Here are her sweet little feet. She has a pedicure and these really adorable little pink slides. Again, not my favorite show. Here she is from the back. Um, the whole dress here has a little train and I just love it so much. Her hair definitely needs a little zhuzh. It's been like pushed back down back here um, in the box, which is what gives it that like super voluminous look in the front. I believe the dress is all one piece. Um, I don't actually know if this comes off TBH. Um, I don't remember seeing a fashion sewn on question mark or not. And from the looks of it, oh, she is sewn into it. I don't want to take the stitches off, obviously. Okay, well, I guess we will have to do an on the doll review. Hmm. Let's just go ahead and do as close up of a review as we can and you guys will just have to see her with the clothes on. There you go. You can see the little stitches right there. Duk, duk, duk. And the thing is, if I go ahead and take them off, I'm nervous that I will have to then sew her back into it. Do you know what I mean? I'm not entirely sure that I wanna do that because <clears throat> TBH, I don't really even know where my sewing kit is yet. <laughs> this jacket dress really is adorable. It's one piece all the way down to the floor. It is much longer than her feet here, which means that it's meant to be displayed on her stand and cover the stand completely. So that's a nice touch. We see a silver zipper running all the way up the opening of the dress here, all the way from the floor hem up to the neckline here. It's a beautiful big convertible collar that I actually flipped up to show you guys because I think it looks cooler. We see um, some silver button detail here that is not functioning, but it's more of a decorative item, um, but that's really sweet on the corners of the lapels here. The zipper is completely a faux zipper. It's not a real functioning zipper. We see a tiny little zipper pull right there. We see another little zipper pocket indication right there that does not open or close. And then we see a little flat pocket right there with a silver button on it that does not open or close either. And then on the side here, we see another little zipper right on the side of her right bust. That is also a non-functioning zipper. A zipper that, that runs down the front is not a functioning zipper. It is purely for 
um, visual appeal. And then we see a belt here as well, it has a silver buck buckle on it. It's made of the same fabric that this beautiful um, dress is made in. And that fabric happens to be a really, really soft, really, really pretty glossy faux leather fabric, um, which generally is comprised of a nylon uh, synthetic blend here very watery and glossy indeed gorgissimo and then it's a long sleeve on the top portion here the sleeves are nice and fitted to her arms they come all the way down to her wrist there there is her beautiful little manicure love love i don't feel like we see enough of this on barbie anymore and i did go ahead and just leave the rubber band on her clutch and her sunglasses just so that you guys can see it irl up close and personal um, instead of it kind of falling and flapping all over the place. The bottom skirt portion is fully lined, which is really beautiful. I can't tell where the lining stops because it is not all the way through because when I lift up her collar here and look underneath, I can see the underside of the fabric. Do you see it there? It's white. Generally, full other backing is always white. So there we go. That is a dead indicator that the lining of the skirt ends somewhere in this area here. The lining is really beautiful. The skirt itself um, is in multiple panels here. Well, the whole dress actually is in multiple panels. Um, we see princess panels all the way wrapping around her body, which would be how this would be constructed in real life. I believe this is how it was constructed on Casey. That is what gives the beautiful shape to the garment. Although in the front here, we see one full panel coming down and then the top portion of it is actually darted together. So we see the dart releasing right there at her hip. The hem is relatively neatly done here it obviously isn't the best but um, the attempt is there and they have tried to make it as neat as possible we see that the zipper here is sewn on neatly as well on both sides this side does tend to kind of do this weird curling thing so that might just be how the zipper is um, sewn into the garment because it has to be sandwiched in between both these fabrics. Here are her little pink slides. They are quite basic for what they are. Um, a little plastic pink slide here in the same silhouette that we've seen in many of our other dolls before, specifically in our debut 1959 Barbie. The back here is not that neatly done, I feel like. I mean, I can see some weird puckering here. Maybe it's a pressing issue. I'm not sure, but and this fabric, you know, when it's this glossy and there's this much light on it, will show you everything. Like it's worse than silk almost, right? Because it shows you everything. So there we have it, you guys. This is the gorgeous Moschino Met Barbie doll. She is a limited edition doll that came out during the Met Gala for the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York City. I know that many, many of you did not get a chance to try and get her. Um, I'm sorry about that. And let me tell you that I am loving and enjoying her on all of your behalf. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope that you learned something. Please be sure to give the video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Make sure to hit that little bell icon after the subscribe button. That way you guys will be notified every Thursday when I upload a new video. Follow me on Instagram. I am at SureshNY. That's generally where I post all my updates. Until I see you guys again, Barbie and I are headed back to the Met Museum. Where else? We're gonna have an encore of that fabulous night together, this time with me instead of Mr. Jeremy Scott. And then we're gonna head out to my favorite diner on the Upper East Side, um, right where I used to live back in the day, and I'm gonna show Barbie around. Wherever you guys are in the world, I hope you're having a fantastic day. Big hugs and kisses from me and Barbie here in Seattle. And I'll see you guys again next Thursday for another video, okay? Bye.